Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is immediately after we just left off with the other episode. So we're going to go straight into day two. We're going to do 20 minutes of the end of the game. We're not going to end by on 20 minutes, but we're going to do 20 minutes. So another feature, because that was kind of an information overload. You can come here, it will tell you what the weather will be like tomorrow and how lucky you'll be. And sometimes there'll be a third option, so they'll give you... Um, so there's either a thing that's like a gardening show, they'll give you like tips for the game. Oh, Clint's here. Let me talk to Clint. Uh, hi there, good morning. Um, I noticed that you've been busy breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of ores you find, you'll need a furnace. It just ha just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints running around. Here, I want you to have them. So he's giving us his blueprints. Uh, I'll explain why you gave them in a second. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. Uh, when you smelt a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. I like Clint. Um, the whole reason why it gives us that is because you're meant to get it when the mines open, but that's after you start smashing off. So we need 20 copper ore and 25 stone. Okay, just got back from fishing trip. So Willie, this is the guy I was going down to meet yesterday. So we'll dash to him, then we'll tend to the crops, and we'll try and like unclutter the farm a little bit if we can. So let's make a dash down to the crop. Let's go down to the beach. I'm gonna go have a day there at the beach. Oh yeah, just so you know, whatever map you choose, the town will always stay the same. It just affects the farm. It affects nothing else. So basically, you just choose what you want. Basically, after that intro, you've met him and you get a fishing rod. And he basically teaches you how to fish. Why is my exclamation Forging ahead. Oh, that's fine. I just need to craft stuff. Yeah, there's some broken boats up there. Let's go. Um, should we buy some seeds? Because it'd be nice to get a nice little tidy profit out of Stardew Valley. Because then we can start profiting over. The thing is, you. I think, no, you can't cut Tony's down in the sun. I thought you could. There's um, a place out by Marnie's Ranch where you can, where you just, like, stand there and do it. That sounded really wrong. <laughs> Basically, you could just go out into the area by Marnie's and just cut down the trees if you, like, cut down all the trees in the farm. Let's just, like, have a stroll. Who was that? Someone opened a door. I heard you. Oh, it's Shane, you prick. What do you want? Go away, you butt munch. Yeah, Shane's horrible to you. He just, he'll always be like, oh, what do you want? Go away. I was like, thank Oh, let's go to Paris while swing. There's plenty of time to go back to the Piers. Piers is open, like, all day. This is where you originally were before you moved to Stardew Valley. There's Penny in her work clothes. Welcome to Jojo Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we met. I'm Moro, the Jojo Mart's customer satisfaction representative. Whatever you decide, when you decide to become a Jojo member, I'll be delighted to make your transition a joy joyous experience. So basically, um, I'll explain him when it comes closer to a time. Shane works there as well. A dick. But unfortunately, Penny works there, and Penny's really sweet to you. And Piers is open. So, backpack upgrades, because these two rows are blocked off for now. Because you have to buy the backpack upgrade. So, we, we need to get 2,000 for the backpack. I want to try and get a full backpack upgrade as soon as possible. Um, we want to get... What do we want to get? Okay, basically, once you cut down all your grass, you can shove that and it will, it will make more grass. Uh, I might 
Should we go potato? Let's go potatoes. We're gonna get one more. We're gonna have eight potatoes. Actually, why don't we get like a three by three? Wait, one more potato. Then we get, well, then we still got five hundred, so we're breaking even. And then we'll go back and plant these potatoes. You guys ready for our potato farming? Uh, how long do these guys take? These guys take six days, and they can sometimes produce more than nine. Okay. They're, so, they're not just always going to produce nine, it's like they can produce more than one at the same time. So let's get downed. Maybe you can go in Bradley, you, your stuff's going to run out. Your watering can. Basically, all you need to do is just go to any source of water, and I think it's right click, and you can refill your can. It's like, it's so convenient. Okay, so we're going to have our little, like, patch down here. Oh, we got some coal. I have seen, um, there is a, apparently, a, um, Stardew Valley mod for Minecraft. Well, basically, you can just play Stardew Valley for Minecraft, really. Oh, we had, we had to waste one. Okay, um, so our closest source of water. So, we'll start out by clearing up here. Oh, I got frog. So, there you go. We filled up the watering can. Um, so, we'll start clearing out up here. Then we'll start moving out the farm. I'm going to leave this grass for now. Just let it bloom. Like the grass ain't hurting anyone, it doesn't affect you at all. It doesn't like slow you down or speed you up, it just doesn't do anything. So we'll just leave the grass alone for now. Just... It can just have some farm masters there. Okay, we're just gonna keep get rid of all this fiber. We do need fiber. Mix. Oh my god, we got mix seeds. Mix seeds are brilliant for like starting the game because basically you plant them and they'll randomly give you one of the seeds that are in the game. It's, it's not like a set seed that it will give you. It will give you a randomly generated seed out of the ones that can grow in that season. Things do grow in certain seasons. It's like you can't just grow everything anywhere. So we'll go back, shove this in here. We want to start stocking up because if we can stock up in resources, then whenever we need it, we have it. And then if we get lots of wood, that sounds really wrong. If we can get lots of wood, um, we can make other chests so we can sort out everything. But for now, just because we don't have a lot, we'll just shove it all in one chest. Oh, I just wasted energy on that. That's going to cripple me. Okay, and we're going to get exhausted in a second. Okay, and we're exhausted. When you're starting to feel exhausted, that basically means stop. Because otherwise you'll move slow as hell and it's just horrible anywhere. You're not, you're just... So we're just going to go and scythe them. 
like stump, these big stumps, you can't get to get them. Ask me a question, guys. So yeah, say who you want to marry in the comments. I'll probably uh, right before the end of the episode, I'll go through the guys in the game that are eligible bachelors, as they would be called. And then you just say who you'd like. I'll go for the mass decision. It's not going to be like first come. It's like if no one's responded, I'll go for whoever I think would be a suitable choice for Aunt Monica. Of course, like if we did this in like timeline stuff, Aunt Monica, Aunt Monica's husband has to have died by the time we get to Pokemon Uranium if we're doing like timeline shit. Because we quite clearly see that she's not married in the game. It's like the thing is, scything doesn't do anything to your energy. Actually, does grass slow you down? I think grass might slow you down a fraction. It's like tomorrow, the game. It's like this. This first bit is a little bit boring of the series, but it does get better. It's not like this is gonna be me walking around scything things for like a whole like hours on end. It does get better. It's like you'll see these over the course of the episodes. I don't think there's really much more we can do down there. It's like we'll just have to, just have to scythe a little bit more. I want to start like we're not gonna do, first after we okay so here's the plan so up here after we've finished clearing out all of up here which we're very close to so it'll probably be tomorrow I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna side this grass because it annoys me just because it doesn't look clean um so pretty much after this top area is clear so tomorrow we'll chop down these two trees and then we can move into the rest of the areas and I want to build. I want to try and build a path so we can commute, commute around everything of the farm. Because once you can commute around the farm, you can pretty much just get quick access. So we can get what we can make wild seeds stuff and uh, make a field snack. Um, food replenishes your energy. Oh, good! It's raining. Raining means we do not have to waste our time today. Advertisement. I find cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Oh, this is just an ad from Pierre. Hashtag shameless advertising, Pierre. So we'll just shovel this crap in. The thing is, we can do loads of things today. So I want to try and get as many mixies, because as soon as you like, hoe the ground, the mixie just passes. So that's clearly one we don't have. So that's a seed we do not have yet and it will just bloom into something random. So let's go cut down those two trees, then we'll like build a path. So we're over here, we'll chop down this tree. We're axing away. Guys, ask me a question in the description. Okay. Got a maple seed, acorn. An oak tree, a maple tree. Okay. So if we do it, we can go down here. Um, but where do we want to go? Because we can't go across that bridge. Um, back up here. Across through and down. Yep. So there's a little pathway which takes us down to by Marnie's Ranch. So that's the little pathway we want to make. So I'll make it like a three way pathway. So we'll start by the house and we'll just work our way down. After a while, this is all just been paths. I want to go, I want to go by up here and clear all that on our way. So this area will be cleared because I can clear this all out. 
It's like, I didn't clear this all out if you're finished for ages. We'll be a good few episodes and then we can start getting rid of all this crap. Shopman, you guys ready? Okay, let me just go dump all this crap in the chest. We're just gonna build up our supplies. Okay, let's grab. Okay, and I'm just gonna cut down our shanks. Over time, we because spring one, spring year one, it's kind of like you just clearing out the farm. In summer, because we'll be able because each month you'll be able to, not each month, each um, season we'll pretty much be able to buy more stuff. And here we go. So yeah, we clear out that pathway. So we got this all cleared out and got this all stuff. So yeah, I know this seems a little boring, but it is only just for now. Then we can get on with all the good stuff in the game. Like for now we can't go mining yet. Is there a no okay. What will the weather be like tomorrow? We'll have to water things. It's gonna be sunny. It'll be sunny tomorrow. Our progress has been saved. So it's stopped raining. These guys haven't believed yet. Uh it's going on maybe. So I think by tomorrow these guys will have grown into parsnips. Meaning we can sell them for money. Because once you got loads of money, whenever you need something, you can just go into town and buy it. Because some stores do open up. Every time. Like if you desperate. The one thing that annoys me about Pierre's is he closes it on a Wednesday. Yeah. You can't go to Pierre's on a Wednesday. So if it's Wednesday and you desperately need something, you're pretty much all out of luck unless you want to go to the Jojo Mart. I never like going there because it's just... The game design is very well at making it such a horrible place to go to. Because all the... The only music sound effect that plays there is like the buzzing of the lights. And he just and the guy Morris from there, like does some really horrible things. Like gets rid of like all the he gets rid of all the town members from Pierre's and tells them to come to Jojo Mart because it's so much cheaper there, and that is true. But it's like I want to support Pierre. It's like like Pierre sends you stuff like for supporting you. He's like he says thanks for you staying because everyone leaves, and he gets really cross and he's like. And it's like you calm down. You, you can either say to him like, "Oh, you should go after them and tell them um, they're not welcome in your store," or you can tell him just calm down. They'll be back. They're loyal to you. And then he's like, "Oh, thanks." Where my new? 
I might have a couple of days in between this episode and the next one, just like getting rid of some stuff. Just later. We'll probably go into the next day, so I'll continue this recording for a little bit, and then I'll spend some time between the episodes just going through a few days, just clearing out the farm a little bit, so you guys just don't have to watch it all. I feel like I can probably tell you guys just don't want to be here when that happens. I'm going to bin this, because I don't need it. Let's see what you drop. You drop clay, which we need. We will need that in a bit, but first we need money, so we probably won't get it till summer. I'm going to take my stuff and go to Clint and get these geodes processed. Let's see what we can find. And I'll look around in these places. Just grab some stuff. Because these can be looted. There's a thing. That's a book. A book expands the library. Yeah. Um, daffodils, Haley likes. Um, so pretty much after this bundle of episodes, I'll ask you what what do you, who do you want me to start flirting with? Just like trying to win over their affections, because basically winning their affections means giving them gifts. You can only give, only give them two gifts every seven days. So you can't just like spam give them gifts and win their affection. And plus, you don't want to just give them the same thing over and over because they are, are they are programmed to say really this again. Like, I gave Haley like, five times in a row daffodils, because that's what she likes. And she was like, really, this again? Purified slime. Granite. And ten copper ore. I think that should be enough copper ore, maybe, to make a furnace. I'm gonna be kind of annoyed if we are, if we're one short. Let's donate some stuff. I think we might get a reward after these two. Nope, we don't. We don't get nothing. Oh, that's fun. Isn't that nice? Oh, Elliot, we need to talk to him. Introduce ourselves, Elliot. Elliot. Ah, oh, the new farmer. I was. <laughs> so yeah, that's Elliot. We can try and flirt with him. I think he is single. Is he single? Oh, my back's itchy. Where is Elliot? Elliot, Elliot. Elliot. We've gone past him me. Maru is the next. Elliot is single. So you can we can flirt with Elliot. I'll go through the men at the end. Who we can flirt with. A sign. I saw the sign, guys. I saw the sign. Okay, and oh my god, we have enough. Uh, we can't grow anything just yet, but we have a sign. That's the map. There you go. We have built ourselves a furnace, and I think we get a little reward for that. No, we don't. We get a new task. Yay! We can actually change the color of our chest, so let's make it purple. I know you're probably getting cross with me, making everything purple, so let's make it... There you go, nice little shade of blue. So, I don't think there's really much more we can do in this day in the game, so we'll sleep, and then tomorrow I'll show you. I hope they planted stuff. Oh, we got a new mining. We got one pickaxe proficiency, which basically means we lose less energy. And we got a cherry bomb. Bombs are useful. 
not just for gaming. So it's like, uh, nothing. And our parsnip's still grown, and the zealotar. Jojamar, Morris, you butt munch. I don't know why I call people butt munchers. And a reward for it. Yep. You get 100g for this. Uh, you you got to be building a coop and you got to reach. We have to craft a scarecrow. So it gets a level 1 farming. So now we don't need to farm this land, so we'll just water these little guys. So I think I think the next episode is episode three. I don't remember. So we're gonna pop these going to sell. So the next episode is episode three. So by then I'll probably have cleaned out a little bit. So it will not be Friday the fifth. It'll be a couple of days in. So. It might be, um, it, I think it will probably be next week in the game. So, I hope you enjoyed opening the Stardew Valley. Um, place your votes. So, let's go through our socials. So, we can date Shane. We're going for a boy, so I won't list the girls. We can, so, hashtag these names. So, hashtag Shane. Hashtag Elliot. Hashtag Alex. Hashtag Sam. Hashtag Harvey and hashtag Sebastian, which we haven't technically spoken to yet. It's impossible to find. So that's Sebastian. So yeah, place your hashtags in the comment below. Uh, we'll go through those one more time, just in case we're doing it now. So it's hashtag Shane, hashtag Elliot, hashtag Alex, hashtag Sam, hashtag Harvey. And hashtag Sebastian. Those are your hashtag options. If they don't have a single beneath them, you can watch through the video. If they do not have a single beneath them, the rest of these guys aren't single. Um, if they don't, well, she is, but she's a girl. Um, if they don't have a single beneath them, you can't date them. So, Lewis, we can't date. We can't date Demetrius because he's married to Robin. We can't date Linus because. something. Um,. And we can't date Clint because Clint's love interest is Emily, which we can steal if reasons because we're, we're feeling dicky. So, thank you so much for watching. This has been Pop Heart. Bye bye! <laughs>